This is why I don't cast it on their turn. We had that question. Why don't you cast it on their turn? Well, because I want to combo Demi Lich into it, right? I caught those Sternjus missiles. They're in the Opus. Let's get rid of the Shock Ops. We're just scavenging ooze now, bro. Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day. Make sure to take time to support the channel. Like the video, subscribe, because at 35,000 subscribers, we'll be giving out a complete playset to the D&D &D expansion, which is pretty cool. So we're right around that corner. Tell your friends about it. Today, a really cool deck uh, based around the new four drop Demi Lich. It's one less to cast for each instant and sorcery that we've cast that turn. We can replay it from our grave by exiling four instances and sorceries. And whenever it attacks, we can exile an instant or sorcery from our grave and cast it that turn as well. So there's a lot going on with this card. It reminds me personally of Arc Light Phoenix, now in historic. Um, you know, the Is It Spells is back on the menu, boys and girls. So get ready, buckle up. This is Demi Spells. We're gonna break down the deck list, talk about strategies, synergies, showcase the gameplay footage, and then wrap up with our final thoughts deck review and where we want the deck to go into the future. So again, thank you all for your time and attention. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so Demi Spells in the house. 60 card, best of one, standard, 2.2 average mana value with four creatures and 34 non-creatures. We do have 22 lands in the deck, um, so it's a little bit lighter, but uh, you know the average curve with 2.2 is very light and it's misrepresented because it thinks that we're gonna be main phasing Magma Opus and a lot of the time we will just uh, be discarding this for the mana, putting it into our graveyard, and then casting it from our grave later on with Demi Lich, which is really, really cool. So if you're unfamiliar, the brand new card that we built the deck around that I kind of described earlier, Demi Lich for four mana, a four, three, it costs one less to cast for each instant and sorcery that you cast this turn. Whenever it attacks, exile one instant or sorcery from your graveyard, copy it, and you may cast the copy. And you may also cast it from your graveyard by exiling four instances and sorceries from your grave in addition to paying its other costs. So this is cool because if it's in your grave, you can cast instances and sorceries, reduce the cost of it from your grave while filling your grave grave uh, simultaneously, which is really, really cool. Um, and you know, the whole deck just kind of supports that, right? We have opt, draw one, four one, and scry. This is very good. It reduces the cost and it will allow us to get another card into our hand to cast to hopefully reduce the cost as well we also want to be drawing the demi lich getting that into our hand we can exile it uh, later on if we need stern dismissal for one return target enchantment or creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand this is great and um you know you can bounce a baddie right we've got uh removal through damage you know one damage two damage three damage in the deck and then you know if we can't combo some of those together for five damage six damage potentially then we've got the stern dismissal if it is that big of a problem and the great thing about the demi lich the recast will trigger before the blockers are declared so you know if you cast stern dismissal bounce something attack with the demi lich grab stern dismissal back bounce their other thing you just bounce two things in one turn which is very very good and maybe reduce the cost of another demi lich in the grave who knows uh talking about some of that damage shock two damage to any target instant speed for one instant speed for one as well spike field hazard one damage to any target if it would die exile it instead can be the land if you want now into our two drops cathartic reunion very important to the deck sorcery speed for two as an additional cost uh for this spell discard two cards and then draw three cards um so you know we can discard the demi lich that's fine we can discard extra land that's fine we're drawing more instances of sorceries we're drawing more demi liches and probably more land as well four copies of fire prophecy damage when you cast it you can put a card from your hand into the bottom of your library if you do draw a card this is great you know get that land out of here give me another instant or sorcery or demi lich please and thank you 
expressive iteration sorcery speed for two looking at the top three one into your hand one into your library one into exile that you can cast this turn right so that's really cool typically we'll do this on turn three if not late game right this is also very good to recast with the demi lich from the two for one value that you receive uh, you know casting it on turn three you play your land into exile you draw a spell into your hand and then you play the land right so that's uh what you do there prismari command is great as well instant speed for three choose two two damage to any target if you need to remove something target player draws two cards then discards two cards that's great for you drawing demi liches discarding land and instances and sorceries to recast your demi liches from the grave right target player creates a treasure token we don't mind ramping that's good for us as well or destroy target artifact if you need to get down to dirty and then finally two copies of magma opus for eight typically we will discard it for two to create a treasure however at instant speed dealing four damage divided as we choose among any number of targets tapping two permanents creating a four four elemental and then drawing two cards is great and i like to discard it like i said earlier and then cast it later on with the demi lich from the grave so we get the discard value and then we get the spell value which is very very cool if not you can hard cast it twice right once from your hand once uh, again from your grave uh, is a possibility we've got the snarls in here and the pathways for consistency the snarls are super important in the deck uh really making the casting of demi lich uh reliable right so that's the deck list we do have some different cards that we will try to discuss along the journey today. Uh, make sure to pay attention for yourself because this is version one of the deck. It's definitely something that I'll be working with throughout, um, you know, the D&D &D, uh, expansion here. So, um, you know, we have a couple questions and we hope to uh, fulfill those questions with some uh, answers at the end of the video. So pay attention. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out everything in the link tree link in the description below, or just give it a Google. And of course, uh, we'll be back after the gameplay in just a few. Going first with a lot of land, right? This land is thick. Can be a blue source this can be a red source then we can do our snarl reveal the island or job i'll set great news the deck i hate Let's toss some land and draw some more. But look who shows up. Mr. Lich. They're going to have a ton of removal. And this is already annoying. We're going to bounce this thing, which is great. We already played a land, so we don't want an iteration. One only. Really one, two, three. That'll be four. So let's toss the lich. All right, we still have access to it. We get the draw, which is tasty. And I'm actually going to fry this right now. It was a nice draw. I like that. Good times. Vito. Oh, hit for four damage here. You stop it. Dirty dog. So we have four lands. We can kill both of these creatures here. The Lich is just going to have to take his turn because this is important. Two damage. Create a treasure. I guess we could roast Vito later, but what if they have protection? What if they have something? I'm just... Just get out of here, Vito. Well, I guess we could wait. Let's just wait. Do they have protection in this deck other than Orzhov? Like, uh, like creatures, I mean. They might even have the MDFC land.
All right. Hmm. It gets out of control. It's almost worse than Vito. I like both these cards. I'm going to decline. Right. Luminizer is almost... Or Luminarch, sorry. Is almost worse than Vito. Iteration goes out. Oof. So I want... I can play the land for my hand, but it's not a blue source. With three mana left, we could cast the Lich. Let's send Opt back and we'll use Stern Dismissal. So command in the hand, opt to our library, land to exile, the land is a snarl, reveal the mountain, great news, dismiss veto, play our lich for two, one, two, three, ooh, um, let's do a shock. So now they have to either play their creature, which they want to do, or spend their mana to remove the Demi Lich, which is kind of what their new objective is. Again, we're chopping through pretty good creatures here. Two Luminar Casperins with an Alsad. It's a good hand. It's a not no wimp of a match here. Hopefully we get to, you know, take advantage of our Demi Lich here. They're thinking about it, right? It's a good card. It had a sick animation. And they snag it with Vanishing Light. And that is an enchantment, not an artifact. Hashtag ultra sad. We can bounce it, but that doesn't help lots. Oh, why doesn't this destroy enchantments? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, adds her to our hand, land to the pile, and command to exile, and we'll cast this, draw to discard, make a treasure. Discard the land. We need the shock and hazard to kill their creature. And I like command. Let's just throw the reunion, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> that exile really, really hurt me. My feelings. Ugh, oh, I just want to play with Demi Lich. Arena, you're being a real bully today. <laughs> Tabarax. That's like a really easy removal for us, though. Let's do it on our turn. Let's just snag it. Hmm. That's my turn. I don't want them to protect that, right? To draw engine. Very bad. So just like take it out immediately. Looking for more Demi Liches. We're down to 35. There's three more in deck. Our tracker doesn't really work great, but it should be roughly 
six, seven, eight percent chance. Five percent maybe, because they already have one. But we've played a lot of cards out of our deck, so that increases it. Yeah, I can do anything with this. Just the priest here. Typically, we will use these to reduce the cost of Demi Lich, but we don't have it. Our opponent is really bullying us. Oh. We still have Fire Prophecy up and possibly our Prismari Command, so we'll just. We're gonna leave it. Nice. Second Lich in play. Immediately another Banishing Light. No! Right? Oh, absolutely. Blood Chief's Thirst. And they're kicking it. It goes to the grave, though, and we got a thick grave, right? So that's fine. We can replay that. Uh, reunion. And opt, and opt. Spike field. Nice. And I'm going to keep that land in hand. We might want to discard that at some point with Fire Prophecy for a draw. It's better than having it in the field. Right? Opt plays draws. Fire Prophecy plays draws. Uh, also known as a cantrip. Prismari Command plays draws as well. Uh, or plays ramp. You got a couple different options there. We need a Stern Dismissal. Now it's Banishing Light, and then counter it. We probably could have taken some counters in the deck, right? Like we've been asking throughout the video, what do you guys think we should have put in the deck to make it more good, right? More better. <laughs> and um, I think maybe counters is a good option. Don't you dare do it to me. Don't shoot the target. They're doing it again. Burning through the removal. Hey, it's good for eating up removal. Hmm. Two damage, draw two, discard two. Two damage, draw two, discard two. Island goes. Oh, what will these friggin' land go? They're pretty. Oh, that's what we want. That'll make them re spend their mana. So we're going to play this Demi Lich. A command can go. An iteration can go. Fire Prophecy can go because we have those in hand. And another command can go. Passing our turn. And then we're going to bounce their Banishing Light on their end step. And then we'll have two Demi Liches coming at you. We don't care. They have one other card. Perfect. That's their turn. So Vito's in play. Let's bounce Banishing Light. We can fire this. Uh, you know, doesn't have summoning sickness involved. We slay Vito. We discard the land. Beautiful. And now we have four mana to utilize here. Did we play a land? I don't recall. So let's express of iteration. 
and shock. We could have also bounced Griffin Airy. But I want to kind of leave that in the grave so we can bounce their exile again. Oh, maybe we'll just do it right now. Um, iteration to our hand. Fire Prophecy to the deck. Dismissal gets cast. Immediately. Here he's back to the hand as well. And then we hit for eight. Finally, you can see how things are uh, coming together uh, a little bit here for us. And again, I mean, our opponent's been playing some heat. We got through it all without a field wipe. Which I don't know, we might want. We've got a couple of those to talk about when we do the deck review that could be viable in the build. Okay, so we lose a Lich, and that spends their mana for the turn, right? Uh, they can Griffin, but that's it. Now we know they're probably not gaining life. So there's no Griffins to worry about. We could have potentially left the Griffin there as well, and retaken our Lich for an, a, a double cast again. So first things first, just like smack in for four, we get a free cast. Probably just a Prismarite Command. Too bad we can't destroy that artifact. <laughs> and we, the draw to discard to actually looks relevant, but it's good to get things in the graveyard for the Demi Lich. So let's just see what we get. Two damage. We draw two, discard two. Yeah, and just working those into the grave, right? We don't need to be drawing those for two turns. That would suck. We get a nice hit in, and we're just going to end our turn. Lots of uh, mobility left in our hand. And the Griffin Aries, their last play. Got him! I don't know how much damage we have. We already used our shock. I mean, two turns. They can top deck something. Uh, if they rope us at the end here, I'm going to be very sad. Just ruins the recording, right? <laughs> Don't be a sore loser, right? Good. They're not. They're good at this. So this is cool for us. We get to shock right out of the gate. That deals two damage. We attack with the Demi Lich. Re-shock. That's lethal. Kapow! Very cool top deck. Right? Allowing us to close it out just in an absolute hurry. Don't mind if I do, Hugh. Don't mind if I do. Proof of concept, it works. Right? We even can be recasting. Got around. I like it, but how can we improve the deck, right? We want to talk about that when we wrap up today's video as well. Opponent goes first. Uh, the hand's not great. Stern Dismissal that goes a long ways for us within this build. Island out. Spike Field Hazards are nice. Using up our red mana. The Tome. Ooh. That's a scary card. Of course, this is the regular play queue. We're not in the standard 2022 queue. Because a lot of these spells... Um, aren't available. I think this deck will be viable once we get new Innistrad spells, but for now, you know, it's just... Ooh, there it is. One Demi Lich, please. So... Dismissal in our hand. Hazard to our library. Land to exile. Play the land. And we're done our turn. What I really like about the Demi Lich. Um, ooh. It's also a spike field. Uh, what I really like about the Demi Lich is the fact that um, we can cast it from our grave. We can reduce the cost of it. And in this particular build, we can cast Stern Dismissal. Um, you know, it attacks, it triggers, and we can bounce their blocker. Or there would be blocker. Right? So that's always nice. And uh, we're just chilling. Let's pass our turn. We have plenty of red sources. 
probably I'll Prismari command these land into the, the graveyard. Yeah, land into the graveyard and make a token. Draw two, discard two, treasure. And then it's on both of us. More land. So yeah, get rid of those. We could bounce this now, but I don't think that's relevant. I'd rather reduce the cost of Demi-Lich. So, land and play. And we don't really even have much going on. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're close to Opus. But remember, if Demi-Lich attacks, we can cast the Opus from our grave for free. Or we could try to cast from our hand and then cast it from our grave for free. So both, I think, viable options. Let's just bounce Chevelle so it's not putting a token on anything. Play Demi-Lich for three. You know, it's not great. It's a small cost reduction. Basically allowed us to cast for free. They're drawing, gaining life here. And we want to find more of those Demi Liches, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We might want to hazard as the land to get closer to Opus. They're at six land as well. They may run. Um, oh no, we're in uh, regular play. They could have whatever. I was going to say, maybe Harness Infinity is like the new really good card in 2022. But today we're in the regular uh, standard, which I still want to be doing a little bit of. I know a lot of you guys already own many of these cards. Just blending in some new ones. So this is really cool because we can free cast. Uh, well, not free cast, but from our grave. Are there creatures in the grave? That ooze is really bad for us. I'm going to grab Expressive Iteration. Right, this is really nice for the draw. Just good value. Oh, but the ooze takes it. We should have bounced the ooze first. Whoops. Oh, well, that's annoying, isn't it? We will need this dismissal to bounce that ooze next turn. Fool me once, you know, shame on me. I forgot about the ooze's instant speed. Uh, sackle dackle. And our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. If we top deck an untapped land, we're in business. Uh, well, that troll is annoying. Sack the Billy. And, uh, yeah. We are okay here. We can bounce this now, unless they haven't played a land. But then they'd be tapped and wouldn't be able to exile. So let's just stop the damage. Our turn. I think they have to discard. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's really good. So, Demi Lich swings. I mean, even bouncing the troll is not that bad. It has haste, though. It would give us more goats. We can do that later. Let's use the Prismari command. We want to. Draw to discard to make a treasure. Both on us. We'll pay for that easily. 
Um. Probably the two damage spells. We get our damage in. Then we can be tapping things with the Opus, too. We have a long ways to go here. Oh, great. So we just bounce that, then. Right, get rid of the troll. They can't recast it. And, um, you know, the goats will still die here. Demi Lich goes down. And they could trade with it, but we're going to Opus it off the field. Right, we can actually, thanks to Kavartek, Opus them both. Oh, cat incoming. Damage there, and there's nothing to tap. Submit. Auto oh, okay. K. Got him. So that's pretty tasty for us. And if we could cast something for one. Right? Just hit him with a shock. Why not? Why not? Get in there. So you do some damage, HGG. <laughs> Where are the other Demi Liches? That's what I want to know. I need more of them. I mean, we still have to deal with that freaking troll. You know what I mean? No! <laughs> We've got a thick graveyard, though, so that's okay. But we don't get to cast Magma Opus. Oh, no! We've got to kill that. It had just enough mana. And now we can't kill it. You jerk! Good for them. That was a tight move. Hands... Library, Exile, get out of here, you friggin' ooze. We'll put the land to the library, draw another, <laughs> an identical copy. We can swing for four. Bingo, bango, bongo. End our turn. Prismari Command can help us with something, maybe? Don't you dare do that to me! Okay, we lose our 4-4. Four, four. Troll is in play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is a bummer. Again, just double targeting ourselves. Is this worth it? Or should we keep cycling? <clears throat> no attacks. <laughs> Ending our turn. The life gain from the troll is redonkulous. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. And we can only deal seven. Like, that troll is just out of reach. That's crazy. Crazy bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what if we could power up all these goats and take revenge? That'd be cool. No! We lose our viable attacker. It would have helped us a lot. It would have helped us enormously. Can we just top deck more opuses maybe? Decline. 
line. Because they're already tapped, right? Oof. Soft it up. We need something good. I'll allow it. We need something good again. <laughs> Come on, give us another Demi Lich. Ooh, that would be six damage. There's freaking two of them though, man. There's two of those freaking trolls. I guess we should have kept the Fire Prophecy and then we could have double Prophecy commanded one. Right? Let's take it a step further. You know, we already kind of threw that away, so let's just keep chucking down that path. Freelance. I think you just love to see it. Get me Lich for zero, though. That's cool. <laughs> um, yeah. We can draw two, discard two, get rid of these lands. And I wish these goats could attack. Let me tell you what, that'd be cool. Maybe they don't have any more removal. Maybe that Demi Lich will survive. Tome is good for them, more life gain. They've gained so much life. Right, did we win the cool deck contest at least? <laughs> There's another three life and a draw. Another three life and a draw. Oh, Lord have mercy. There's the removal. They've always wanted. Ouch. Our turn. Um, yeah, their their life gain's ridiculous. Slay the Tome. I don't see us winning this. Because they're just going to draw more removal. We don't get anything good really either. Keep digging. Maybe we go through our whole deck, right? All right, all right, all right, all right. Get behind this. Oh, actually, wait. Discard the Demi Lich. Our grave is thick. Do a little opti doos. Oh! <gasps> you guys, we're doing it. We are doing it. You're about to witness greatness. Send the shock up top. Mm. This is why I don't cast it on their turn. We had that question. Why don't you cast it on their turn? Well, because I want to combo Demi Lich into it, right? I want those Sternjus missiles. There and the Opus. Let's get rid of the shock, the opt. The reunion. Yup. Opt, opt, opt. Prophecy. Yup. Where's your scavenging ooze now, bro? <laughs> they play another one right after this, or a frog hemoth, even worse. Okay. They get a double draw, and they already have four cards in their hand. Not the greatest. Maybe we should have allowed them to attack. Oh no, Polkranos can fight the Demi Lich. He can double fight. No! You jerk.
All right. Can we get dirty with it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If only they didn't have 19 life. Like, look at this field. We can double bounce. So one all run, one bounce. Which is, or one opus. So eight, nine. Dang, man. So one Opus, just because sick value, and then one Stern Dismissal. Dismissal the Troll. Not great, but whatever. And they can replay this, which would really suck for us. But we should still slay them. And they're basically tapped out. We're doing the do. Not that it's great. I mean, mostly we're holding on. Uh, we get some good damage in. That part of this is nice. We... Play the land as a blue. We don't iteration this turn. We just we just demi lich. Just get it out there. Uh, we need the dismissal. So get rid of everything else. One of the commands can go. Okay. So. Um, we can sack the goats, right? <laughs> no! You jerk! We got so close here. We're doing it at least, right? Competing with a great deck. Um, just with Jankland, right? Having fun doing it. Double jerk. We have to sack because they do too much damage. <laughs> right? We're even taking damage from this. Oh! That's game. That is game. <laughs> what do we have to cast? We have another opus. It's just not enough, man. They got so much heat in the kitchen. Let's fry it, I guess. Decline. It has to be a dismissal, doesn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a spell that bounces all creatures that our opponent controls. That would be very good for us. Let's see what else is on the menu. Um, hands. Get away. Exile. Let's get these liches back out. <laughs> Maybe we'll annoy them to death. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, leave an iteration. Leave the opus. Maybe we need the opus. Oh, this is rough. 
It's not supposed to go on this long. <laughs> and we just cast this this turn. Why not? It's free damage. We don't want to miss out on it. Add stuff. We could fix this deck though, right? And with your guys' help, a little bit of added brain power. My, I got it's too smooth, right? They call me uh, not Teflon Dawn, Teflon Dome. And uh, if we had some more help, I think this is base of a very good deck. Um, and I'm excited to see it. It's been a while since we've been slanging spells. Pauly D is just taking us to Pound Town. Like, oh my gosh, right? We just got obliterated again. How many times can we replay these? Uh, the answer is not at all. Good game. Our opponent finally beats us. Whoa. All right, so Demi Spells version one. We got it to work, and we almost got it to work a couple times, right? Just kind of demonstrating it in theory. Talking about things that we could add to the deck. Into the Royal, you know, it's a bounce, and it could be a bounce and a draw. That's not that bad. I think that's a good option. We also have Cinderclasm. Um, you know, we can cast it for two. We can potentially cast it for three. Um, I think this is a good option if we need to uh, control the field at all. And my favorite pick, I think, so far is first day of class, instant speed for two. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and it gains haste until the end of turn, plus you learn. Right, so A, we are reducing the cost of the Lich. Not one for one, it's still fine. But, you know, it's going to get a 5-4, which is great. And it will have haste, so it can attack, and then that triggers the ability, uh, which is really nice as well, uh, if you have any leftover mana, right? Maybe you get a free shock, maybe you bounce their creature with a stern dismissal. Um, so there are some options there and you get to learn which will allow you to cast multiple spells to reduce the cost of the lich in your later turns as well which is nice we also are thinking about the storm wing entity um i don't know uh, oh this isn't uh i keep wondering if things are in you know standard 22 or not and this will leave rotation right in september but for now, uh, this could go in the deck as well. Prowess would go really nicely in the deck, uh, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so that's what uh, you know. myself and the Twitch chat while we were recording this came up with. What do you guys on YouTube think, right? What can we include within this deck uh, to make it more consistent, to make it more competitive um, within the current standard and potentially in the um, standard 2022? Uh, I do think that... Uh, deck like this needs a lot of cards a big pool base i think it would be very good and historic um you know maybe even alongside the phoenix maybe the phoenix demi lich combo what that could be really cool right so uh with that being said you know i hope i piqued your guys' interest today thanks for watching make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel again at 35,000 subs we give away a complete rare play set easy peasy lemon squeezy Subscribe, share it to your friends, check out the link tree link, join the community. I hope to see you soon. Have a magical day. Peace.